member of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Vian Dockel, hinted on Thursday at the domination of foreign bank branches over the foreign currency buying and selling window at the Central Bank of Iraq. Dockel told Shea Fake News Agency, the committee is currently discussing the issue of financial and monetary policy in the central bank, especially after information indicating the dominance of some branches of foreign banks and Iraqi banks over the Iraqi currency market and the window for buying and selling foreign currency. She explained that the Parliamentary Integrity Committee is working on legislating a law that limits the authority of foreign banks and their branches and Iraqi banks that have foreign capital indicating that this limits the huge profits that these banks obtain from Iraq. Dockel pointed out that there are some foreign banks and foreign capitals that control money transfers in Iraq, and unfortunately all Iraqi money goes to another country. Iraqi experts warn of currency leakage outside Iraq due to corruption in the country's currency auction. The Central Bank Administration plans to gradually cancel the dollar auction, eventually cancelling it completely. Member of the Parliamentary Oil, Gas and Resources Committee, Kazem Al-Taki, confirmed today, Thursday, that the draft oil and gas law is awaiting approval within the Council of Ministers, indicating that the joint committees between the federal government and the regional government are continuing their work to decide on the law. Al-Taki told al Malama Agency, there are controversial articles that hinder sending the draft oil and gas law to the House of Representatives, noting that the draft is still in the government's possession. He added that the oil and gas law is still on the government's discussion table, noting that the relevant committees are continuing their meetings in the hope of reaching an agreement on the controversial articles. He stressed that there is a common vision between the governments of Baghdad and the region to complete the oil and gas law file and send it to the House of Representatives.